Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a stock portfolio analysis app using Streamlit and uh, Yahoo Finance data. So we're going to be building two tabs, one to uh, analyze and compare historical stock data, and the second one will be used to calculate uh, portfolio growth based on a set of investments. So let's get started. Yahoo Finance in a nutshell is a platform uh, where you can find financial news and a bunch of stock market data. So for instance, we have here the Microsoft stock uh, dashboard. So this is where we're going to be uh, pulling our data from. All right. So first thing we're going to do is open VS Code to set up a uh, blank Streamlit app that's going to be titled Portfolio Analysis. And then we're going to add a sidebar and two tabs uh, that are going to be titled Portfolio and Calculator. Next, we're going to be pulling a list of all ETFs and equities that can be accessed through the finance database library. So basically here, uh, using the ETFs method and the equities method from the finance database library, uh, we're creating a ticker list. So we will use that list into a multi-select component from Streamlit to allow the user to build their own uh, portfolio. So let me replace the uh, empty component here with uh, the multi-select component here. So uh, at the same time, we will use the ticket symbol to retrieve the associated logo on the uh, logo Clearbit website to be able to uh, showcase the logo. Like so. So the user can now search for any tickers with uh, this multi-select component here. So if, for instance, if we search for the Microsoft ticker, which is MSFT, uh, we can add it here. Uh, and as you can see, the, um, the logo also uh, displays here. If we add, for instance, the Apple ticker here, uh, the Apple also um, is added here. We will also want to add a date selector, which we can build using the date input function. Like so here. So once we have selected stocks in a desired time period, uh, we can import the stock data. Uh, as mentioned earlier, we will extract the data using the uh, Yahoo Finance library. So the only thing we have to do is input a list of ticker symbols into the download function uh, as well as a start and an end date. In addition to that, we also calculate uh, the price at the very start of the selected time period and uh, daily percentages of variation in, uh, in price. Now, before building the uh, first tab, we're going to add a simple if condition uh, to inform the user to select some ticker symbols uh, in order to view the uh, various plots. All right, so the first plot that's going to be displayed in the portfolio tab uh, will be a line plot uh, showcasing the daily percentage of change in price from the uh, selected start date. By the way, uh, all the plots that will be shown here were uh, created actually with the uh, Plotly library. So this is a good chart to compare the performance of multiple stocks within the same plot. Uh, but we're also going to add some metrics uh, on the individual stocks uh, below this plot. So to do so, we, uh, we just have to build a for loop that goes through uh, the uh, ticker list uh, that we've created earlier. And then we add the uh, specific metrics. Uh, in this case, I've decided to calculate a 50-day average uh, of the price and then uh, extract the one-year high and lows uh, of the price. And finally, we can add a uh, simple plot to display the uh, raw variations uh, in price for the individual stock that we have uh, displayed here. So essentially, this is what the portfolio tab consists of. Uh, if we go back here, uh, we can play a bit with the uh, various widgets. So I guess we can try to start over with a uh, new set of uh, stocks. Um, so I don't know if we take the, uh, let's say the Netflix stock with the uh, Nvidia stock 
which is very popular right now, uh, or um, and the I guess the Tesla stock here. So as you can see here, all of these stocks uh, are shown in the all stocks plot here. We can analyze or observe that the uh, Tesla, uh, yeah, the Tesla stock seems to have some problems uh, in the six last months. Um, so yeah, like I said, uh, you can also uh, analyze the uh, individual stock with the uh, 50 day average, the one year low and highs, and the um, the individual plot with the uh, the actual raw. Uh, prices uh, in the time frame so I can also change the time period uh, so let's say I only wanted the uh, the last three months that would be uh, something that I can do here so let's say the first of April so all of these uh, plots and metrics all changes uh, they all change within the time frame that I selected now to calculate the potential growth we would have had with this uh, portfolio uh, I created a second tab for this specific use. So what was done here is essentially adding a user input to collect an amount in dollars for each stock. Then we add a total investment in the indicator, which is simply the uh, sum of all stock amounts. Uh, we also add another uh, user input for the, uh, the goal amount to know if we would have been able to reach uh, to reach the goal within the uh, the time period selected and then we uh, gather uh, all of this info uh, in a line plot all right so with all these components uh, we are able to uh, construct multiple scenarios where for instance uh, let's say if I had uh, on April on April 1st a uh, hundred dollars for each stock so let's say I have a hundred dollars of Netflix hundred dollars for Nvidia and a hundred dollars for Tesla uh, I would uh, want to know if I would have been able to gain a uh, hundred dollars a hundred more dollars uh, during the time frame so that would uh, that would be a goal of four hundred dollars so uh, the answer would be yes I would have been able to collect a hundred dollar more um, in the time frame that I selected. In fact, it would be uh, a bit earlier, uh, would be the uh, 9th of July, 2024. So uh, this is the kind of information uh, you would get uh, using this calculator here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.